What's up everyone, that's me Matthew, welcome on the PCTech channel and today we're taking a look at Crucial Ballistic Sport LT DDR4 2666 MHz RAM. Before we start, big thanks to Crucial for providing their 16 gig kit of the sticks just for this review and upcoming project that I will give you some info at the end of the month. Not wasting your time anymore, let's get it. Overall, Ballistic Sport LT comes in three color variants, white, red and grey. I received a 16GB white kit for 6 by 4 gb clocked at 2666MHz. Memory count is packed in a blister, inside of which you find the RAM itself and this sheet of card, paper or anything with some quick installation info and there's nothing much more than that. Only on the front you've got a sticker with info about the products such as capacity, number of sticks, timings and voltage. Taking a quick look at memory design, you can already tell that it's quite compact RAM and it's quite low profile so it should fit in all of these MiniATX systems and also it shouldn't interfere with any big tower air coolers or water cooling tubes in your system. Ballistic Sport LT also have fully white PCB and this camo damned kind of heat spreaders which in my opinion looks beautiful and this RAM is just perfect for any white build, black and white build, RGB build and stuff like that because it's pretty much matches every other color. Moving to technical aspects of this product, this kit of Ballistic Sport LT has 2666 MHz clock rate with timing 161818. 18. It also has dedicated XMP 2.0 Intel profiles and works at standard voltage of DDR4, which is 1.2 volts. What's worth noting about Ballistics RAM is that you're covered with lifetime warranty, so you don't have to worry if anything happens. So, taking it up all shortly, in my opinion, these sticks are one of the most beautiful DDR4 sticks available for now, and they also have some nice performance and won't blow your budget, so I would definitely recommend them, especially that they are not that expensive. By the way guys, soon I will be doing a comparison between DDR4 2400 MHz and 2666 MHz, so if you wanna see it, don't forget to click that subscribe button to stay tuned with my videos. If you enjoyed this short video, don't forget to drop a like and yeah, see ya in the next one, bye.